What's up, YouTube? I hate to say it like that, but morning, everybody. Well, afternoon now, Sunday. Uh, just kind of doing an update video. It's been uh, pretty busy since December for me with work and getting some stuff done around here on the uh, old uh, Brook 73 compound. We've got a few new guests staying with us. So there's a lot of activity going on inside of the uh, the main compound and in the uh, the main house. Between that and really just work, and it's been raining a lot down here, so I haven't been able to get out as much. Finally today, rained all night last night. I said, you know what, I just got to get out there in the, sh in the shop, go to the uh, second shop, a little bit smaller. Um, and get some stuff done. I mean, uh, just trying to condense some of the stuff I carry with me every day with maybe a smaller, just a little EDC pouch maybe. We'll see how that goes. It's, it's going to be trial and error. There's a few things I'd like to get in there. Uh, but the pouch will be something I can throw back and forth, right? Bag to bag, just so I have a basic, essential, everyday thing. We'll see how it goes. It's going to have a charging block in it. It's going to have uh, possibly some eating utensils in it. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, that all seems to be fitting rather nicely. Going to do some writing, some paperwork stuff. Just stuff that I use, like to have with me. Pulling some stuff out of the old uh, day hike bag here, the little Rothko. It's pretty much going to be a, but this bag will be able to be dropped into the Rothko, so that's why we're doing what we're doing, right? But just some basic tools, stuff like that that I carry that I like to keep with me every day. Um, I'm gonna put that. That can stay in there. Yeah, we've really uh, narrowed the Rothko bag down to very little stuff. Uh, because, like I said, it mostly goes camping with me. Or on a day hike, so there's a lot of stuff in there that I was carrying that I don't really need. We're down to a stove, some food, a little uh, folding saw, fire tender, and obviously the... Uh, Jeez, the Stanley cook set, right? I mean, can never forget about the Stanley cook set. My little fishing tackle bag and my little first aid kit, so that takes care of that. Um, when it comes to traveling first aid and this little thing, my bag, I'm either in my, my truck or my car, and both of them have a very extensive first aid kit. So I don't need to carry, uh, what would we say, first aid supplies with me so much because I always have them either in my truck or my car. We're going to change up the range bag. Um, the bag I was using a little bit bigger than what I necessarily need to carry. So we'll, we'll, we'll go to a different bag. Let's see. So what do I need to carry in this thing? We got an SKA. Uh, K-Bar Sport Knife Thingamabobber I picked up and it's made by um, they're, it's Elk Ridge and it's a hobo um, it's a hobo knife so it's got your folding knife it's got a fork and a spoon comes apart three pieces you can use everything individually I'm um, putting one of these little uh Protec flashlight in there. They're uh, they're pretty good. You know, they do. Uh, and it's an an adjustable zoom. They're they're cheap. They're like twenty dollars. Got the reverse clip on it so that you can stick it on your ball cap and still use it. I do wear ball caps. Oh, uh, what else am I gonna keep in this little uh, ditty bag? Keep a couple of charger cables in here. 
because I am going to keep a little uh, 2200 amp hour battery pack in there. They give you, they give your cell phone half a charge. So it's not stuff I'm going to be using every day, but it's stuff I want to have with me every day. I got uh, the SKS. Don't know which one this is, but I got it at a real good deal. Uh, Ten bucks. Came with the pliers. Uh, you lose it, you lose the, the wood saw with the pliers. But I carry another SAK in my pocket, and that's always got my boy got that walker uh, along with a buck knife on my hip. So I carry a multitude of blades on most given day. I'm gonna throw a little cotton in there, a little bandana. That'll keep that. And then, uh, like I said. I think that's gonna be it for that bag. That nice little pouch. With little field notes in it, and I put my writing the rain pen in there, you know, all that stuff so we can write if it's raining out. And uh, this nice little ditty bag pouch. Good size. It's going to, uh, it's probably gonna live here in my day pack that I carry all the time. In, Carried it for six years. Now comes the fun stuff, right? So, um, we've got this little toy. My little truck gun. SK sub 2000, 9 millimeter. I'm gonna find a smaller. I got a bag that I can fit it in, but. I think I want to do with the way with the larger bag because this has a very small profile. You know, I mean, as you can see, magazine was out. And it's it's there's no round in the chamber. That's what's nice about these guns. Once you fold it in half, it's never gonna fire, right? Uh, but I have a lot of magazines for them between this and the the pistol. So, and I got this bag. I don't know the other day it was on the cheap. Y'all know me. It's all about being on the cheap, right? Hey, it's that old expression, you know, run what you're wrong, do with what you can, you know, with what, what you can afford to do. Maybe upgrade down the road, I don't know. But this I'm really basically looking just to kind of keep. Uh, it's a very minimal amount of stuff, you know, a little gun cleaner. Obviously, all the uh, magazines, for the most part. Um, God, I gotta stop saying home. I get two thirty-round mags for that thing, and then I've got this is for my sky. I've got seven ten-round mags for the sky, and then I believe this is a fifteen-round mag for the Caltech so two thousand. Now look at what else I carry in here. Some clip plates for the sky. Oh, just change your bottom of your fingers on them, I guess. Those can go. Oh, paperwork. Um, owner's manuals for my pistol and The Caltech, the sub 2000. I mean, they break down really easy. I don't know why. I just probably, you know what? I got a better place to keep all this in the house. Keep these up in the main house. No idea. Just wanted to keep it with the with the guns. Cleaning supplies, you know, cleaning ropes, a weight down towel. Yeah, pretty much it. You empty out the bag I have and put it into this smaller other bag. A little toolkit in this one. 
a couple screwdrivers, a couple brushes for cleaning. Multi-tool, always multi-tool. But that's it. Just uh, trying to reorganize a little bit. It's getting, it's getting kind of cold today. It's getting kind of windy. So we opted not to go out to down to the range. Uh, last weekend we went and took care of some legal stuff for the state. So that this way, whatever happens in 2020, of November of 2020, hopefully we'll, we'll at least be grandfathered in. We won't have to worry about losing any privileges or rights. This little, this little thing works. Basically, in my bag, it's going to be this bag that I just put together. Um, it, it's that little cleaning stuff, ear protection, eye protection, my ammo, I keep in a different type of container. Something that's a little drier. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all that's been going on. Oh, watch this. Watch this one. Oh, there you guys are. Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, look at that. What I've got you resting on is detaining me, detaining me, from getting. I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I guess better to do it and use them and let them go to waste or get thrown out. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I actually don't. We've got knives. We've got. Hmm. Y'all hate when you do that? Set something down and then forget where you said it. Yeah, so we went and had our little little time in the classroom and a little time out on the range. Got some qualificate qualifying done that needed to get done. Um, I guess pre to be prepared. That's the way you really want to look at it. Don't want when everything goes south. I don't want somebody telling me that, oh, you can't do that. You know, your Second Amendment right, your First Amendment right, and shit. Your constitutional rights. But, I'm not going to get political. Everybody has their own opinion. You're allowed to form your own opinion. And you're allowed to have your own opinion. Constitutional rights. But anyways, just a little update. I hope uh, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a good New Year. Mine was satisfactory. Uh, no complaints. No complaints. Like I said, it's just been just been one right after the other. Hectic, 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 and not not super good. So I made this bag, and this is what happens when you try to make something that you got to learn, right? Try to make a little bushcraft bag, uh, bucket style. The material was good for what I was originally using it for, which was um, like four or five days worth of clothes if I had to travel. It was a book bag, and I think that's what I'm just going to convert it back to because uh, I think it's not really that good. It's not going to do what I wanted it to do. I'm not going to hold up to it, so that's got to get taken care of. Other than that,
all has been pretty good. Okay, I got some stuff stored down here. This is the uh, camping supplies. I'm going on a overnight, which I haven't done one in a while. I need to do one. I need to go out. It's been, it's finally starting to get cold down here, so that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Not like you're gonna freeze to death cold, but it's definitely gotten colder down here. Uh -huh. Cleaning out the, the work bag that lives in the back of the truck because it's got, or in the back seat, it's got important documentations that I need to have. Books, regulation books, imagine that, right? Regulation books. So that I can keep everybody um, safe, secure, according to the boss man. Is what it is. Some nice AB cords for the other camera, which I got to get out and get that. I really got to figure out an editing program. I'm not super great at that stuff, so that's something I got to work on. But uh, yeah, let's stop carrying a bag for a while. I just, you know, I just leave it in there. But. I'm gonna go back to carrying a bag every day. Imagine that. Might as well, right? And, uh, it's really basically a lunch bag. But what's nice is between the bag I keep in the truck with some stuff in it and this bag that I carry every day, something goes south, I got two bags to, uh, to walk out with. The only thing I have not learned decided to do was get a single walled stainless steel water bottle but uh, it's not that I haven't thought to do it just haven't done it yet I guess this is more the more the issue but it all works out I'm telling you it all work out in the end So yeah, so that's a good deal. I got that done, got that done. That's it guys. Uh, hopefully pretty soon. Got the mistress all ready. She's ready to go. We got a trip, a couple of long kayak trips coming up this uh yeah, this summer. Gonna do the Saluda River, about 20 miles. Right, and we're gonna try and make it an overnight, even though it shouldn't be an overnight, but we're gonna try and make it an overnight. Then we're going to do the Savannah River from South Augusta, Georgia, all the way down to Savannah, Georgia. That's going to be about a five-day trip. Um, Kyle, like I said, Kyle's got his new, uh, new kayak uh, ready to go and try and do something. He's just got to get some seat time in it because he's, you know, it's a little narrow and he's a little nervous. But I think he'll be all right. We'll call it. Y'all have a good one. Don't remember, don't forget. Subscribe, like, turn that notification on, and uh, we'll catch you next time around. Peace.